This video contains excerpts from our playbook. Download it from our website. Welcome to our whiteboard drawing, jump to 9.1.2 or higher. Build a jump lab using your BE. This drawing describes how to build a jump lab using your BE. Let's start with a quick review and overview. Here are the tasks for a jump to 9.1.2 virtualization and upgrade. On day two, a figurative day, we virtualize and upgrade our CUCM cluster. Here are the tasks for building the jump lab. Configure the production and jump lab VLANs. Some of these VLANs were configured as part of the day one tasks. Your ESXi hosts need their vSwitches configured for the jump lab. Builds and pre-production resource pools are added to organize the jump lab VMs. For Enterprise 20, our collaboration apps are virtualized and run on networks supported by the Production Collab A and Production Collab B VLANs. Cisco collaboration apps are virtualized and run as virtual machines on hypervisors, VMware ESXi hosts. The ESXi hosts are installed and configured on C-Series servers. Enterprise 20 uses the BE6000 medium density server C220 M3S SFF TRC number 2. Deployment of other C-Series servers are very similar and we'll discuss other options as soon as we can. Enterprise 20 is the model Enterprise used in the ABay lab environment to illustrate BE and C-Series deployment, configuration, and ongoing administration. Our jump environment has VLANs that are routed and VLANs that are not. The VLANs that are routed are current production VLANs. The VLANs that are not routed represent our sandbox. See our Jump Lab VLANs drawing for a detailed discussion of these VLANs. For an HA deployment, we need two servers. For larger deployments, we may need more than two servers. The upstream switch ports are all configured identically. The V switches are also configured the same. First thing to do is configure the production and jump lab VLANs. The SIMC port was configured as a day one task. The SIMC port is connected to the production hardware VLAN, so we have access to the server SIMC GUI and to the ESXi host console. Here is the SIMC switch port configuration on the upstream 2960 from day one. The VM kernel port group and production hypervisor VLAN were configured as a day one task. Our ESXi host will be on the production hypervisor VLAN. The two LOM ports 0 and 1 are the uplinks for vSwitch 0. These uplinks are configured as trunks and carry the hypervisor VLAN. The networking diagram shown here is for the BE6000 medium density server, but will work for any C series having only the LAN on motherboard card. Our production collab VLANs will also be carried on the trunks used as uplinks for vSwitch 0. The production collab A and collab B VLANs were added to these trunks as a day one task. Here are the VLANs used for base deployment. The production hypervisor and collab A and collab B VLANs need to be carried on the trunks for the vSwitch 0 uplinks. Here's the Enterprise 20 configuration for the upstream switch ports with no QoS. We need to add a routed enterprise network to the jump lab for access to our jump server. And we need to add the Builds Collab A and Builds Collab B VLANs and the Pre-Production Collab A and Pre-Production Collab B VLANs supporting the Builds and Pre-Production clusters respectively. The trunks to your servers need to carry all of these VLANs, the Production Collab A and Production Collab B VLANs, and the Production Hypervisor VLAN are already configured as part of the day one tasks. You need to add the routed Enterprise Network VLAN, the Builds Collab A and Builds Collab B VLANs, and the Pre-Production Collab A and Pre-Production Collab B VLANs to the trunks. The native VLAN should be configured as an unused VLAN. The builds and pre-production VLANs only need to be added to the two upstream switches. 
If you have a single C-series, they don't even need to be added there. These are the Enterprise 20 VLANs. Not all VLANs are used for the base deployment. Here's the Enterprise 20 Jump Lab configuration for the upstream switch ports with no QoS. VLANs 205 to 208 only need to be configured on the two upstream switches, not on other switches in the network. If you have only one BE or C series, so no HA, then VLANs 205 to 208 do not need to be configured on the upstream switches. The next thing to do is configure the Jump Lab V switches. Access your first ESXi host, Enterprise 20 ESXi-A. Double-click on the vSphere client shortcut. Enter the IP address of your ESXi host and use root and your password to log in. Click Ignore to any security warning. Select your host inventory and navigate to Configuration Networking under Hardware. You see vSwitch 0. Unless you have a QuadGig e-card, this is the only vSwitch you need to worry about. As part of day one, both network adapters have been added to vSwitch 0, and vSwitch 0 has the VM kernel port group, Production Hypervisor, and both the Production Collab A and Production Collab B port groups configured. We put the Collab apps on VM NIC 1 and other traffic on VM NIC 0. In this way, we isolate the collaboration traffic from VM kernel traffic and other traffic at the same time as providing redundant uplinks. Here are the common NIC teaming settings we configured in day one. Load balancing. This setting doesn't matter because we have only one active adapter per port group. Network failover detection. Set this to beacon probing. Notify switches. Set this to yes. And failback. Enterprise 20 sets this to no. Here are the port groups configured on day one. The VM kernel port group, which we named Production Hypervisor, and the Production Collab A and Production Collab B port groups. We need port groups defined for the routed enterprise network VLAN, the Builds Collab A and Builds Collab B VLANs, and the pre-production Collab A and Collab B VLANs. Select your host in Inventory and navigate to Configuration Networking under Hardware. You see vSwitch 0. Click Properties to continue with the configuration. On the NIC Teaming tab, set the values as we discussed earlier. You want to be safe. Change the VLANs for the Production Collab A and Production Collab B to an unused VLAN for now. If a VNIC is accidentally put in the Production VLAN, it won't be able to do any harm. Navigate back to the Ports tab of vSwitch 0. Select Production Collab A and click Edit. We need to add the new port groups. We'll also add a port group called DEAD, which has access to nothing. Navigate back to the Ports tab of vSwitch 0 Properties. Click Add to add the Builds Collab A port group. In the same way, add all of the new port groups. Don't forget to change the failover order. vSwitch 0 configuration is almost complete. Navigate back to the Ports tab of vSwitch 0 Properties. Click Add to add the port group, Routed Enterprise Network. The next thing to do is configure the builds in pre-production resource pools. We'll build two resource pools to keep things organized. Our builds cluster VMs go in the builds resource pool, and the pre-production cluster VMs go in the pre-production resource pool. Right-click on your host in Inventory and click New Resource Pool. Name the resource pool Builds. Don't change anything else. And click OK. Now you have a Builds resource pool. Add a pre-production resource pool and you're done! 
Here are the tasks for a jump to 9.1.2 virtualization and upgrade. The BE is configured as a jump lab and we're ready to build the jump server. Coming up next, day two, jump to 9.1.2 or higher, build jump lab server. Thanks for watching.